In this video, we are going to be solving equations with variables on both sides. In this first example, we have negative times the quantity of 8y plus 4 equals 5 times 7y minus 133, 133. So in our first part of this, we notice that we have to get rid of the parentheses. And so in front of the parentheses, we have a negative sign, but it really is not just a negative sign. It represents a negative one. I tell my students that, you guys, it's a negative one that gets distributed to each term in the equation. So with that being said, I'm going to say negative one times eight y is a negative eight y. Negative one times a positive four is a negative four. And let's go ahead and bring everything else down. Can I simplify this side? I've noticed that multiplication, let's go ahead and simplify. What is five times seven y? Five times seven is 35, so it becomes 35 y minus 133. Now we've combined like terms, we've gotten rid of the coefficient in front of the parentheses sign by distributive property. But now let's try to isolate our variables. And so by isolating our variables, we are going to move all of the y's on one side and then all of the constants on the other side. So I am going to take the opposite of a negative 8y, which is a positive 8y. And I'm going to add that 8y to both sides. Therefore, I get 0. I bring down my negative 4, which equals 35y plus 8y is 43y minus 133. Now I'm going to take this 133, or this negative 133, and I'm going to add a positive 133 to both sides. That's its inverse operation. And I'm going to come up with an answer of a 129 equals 43y. This is going to turn out to be 0. So I'm going to divide by my coefficient by 43. And 43 times 3, so my answer is going to be y equals 3. Now let's go ahead and try the second problem. The next problem, let's erase this. It's a little tricky when I go to write it. It's going to be 9 minus, open parentheses, 7 minus 5y, close parentheses, which is equal to, open parentheses, 5 minus 3y times 5, close parentheses, plus 77. Ooh, that looks a little messy, guys. But we let's take one step at a time. We know that we have a, a negative sign in front of this parentheses. So it's really going to be multiplying using distributive property to each term a negative one. So here we go with nine minus one, negative one times seven is a negative seven. Negative one times a negative five y is a positive five y. And then I see that I need to simplify here as well. So I'm gonna bring down my equal sign, this five, can't be combined with anything in the parentheses because I need to do multiplication first. So I have a negative 3y times 5, which is a negative 15y. And then I'm going to add 77 right here at the end. So now we have a bunch of combining. We have simplified and got rid of all of our parentheses, but we could simplify even more by combining like terms. So let's see what we can combine. On this side, it looks like we can combine 9 minus 7. And on this side, it looks like we could combine positive 5 and positive, because this is a positive 5 right here, 
m positive 77. So let's go ahead and do that. 9 minus 7 is 2. 2 plus 5y is equal to 5 plus 77 is 83. Or is it it's 82 minus 15y? Sometimes when we're doing mental math, we have to check ourselves just because we feel like something just doesn't look right. So let's go ahead and isolate our variable. Um, actually, we need to get both y's on the same side. So I'm going to add the inverse to this negative 15y, and I'm going to add it to both sides. And so this gives me, bring my 2 down plus 20y is equal to 82, and this results in 0. So now I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides or add a negative 2 on both sides, which then this cancels out or gives me 0. And I'm going to write my next step right over in this direction that I will have 20y is equal to 80 because 82 minus 2 is 80. Now seeing my coefficient, I'm going to divide by the coefficient of 20 on both sides. Therefore, 20 divided by 20 is y, and 80 divided by 20 is 4. And so my final solution is 4. Thank you.